Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Mayhem. I am your host, Marty Mayhem. How's this for less depressing? Last review, I promised you a change in genres because of how great things were looking as I swam knee-deep in dog shit and witch-infested waters. Change is an absolution in all corners of life, and today we have South Park Stick of Truth. I figured this was fitting, seeing as how the sequel to this game will be out soon enough, and I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, if you know what I mean. So this game is based on the long-running TV show South Park, and if you needed me to tell you about South Park's existence, under this video you'll find some suggestions for different videos to watch instead of wasting your time here, you tool. You play as the new kid, given his unique title by Cartman himself. You join Cartman's band of comrades in the fight against the elves, led by the biggest hypocritical jackass in the show's history, Kyle. To elaborate, Kyle and Cartman constantly mock each other in the show. Cartman loves to call Kyle a Jew, Kyle calls him a fat ass, he also constantly calls Cartman out on his foul acts and his downright terrible personality. Even though Kyle is a douchebag himself, consistently going out of his way to be a complete prick. So to hell with that asshole. Cartman's team for the win, baby! Part of the appeal for this game is it makes you feel like you're taking part in an actual South Park episode, which really adds to the authenticity of it. It's for this reason and more that I have to recommend this game to any South Park fan out there. It does well to make you feel like this is a whole season of the show, and you're interacting with your favorite characters, like... Kenny. Don't think that the fact that this is a game means it isn't as funny, well, almost as funny as your typical South Park episode. It is funny. In fact, I find it hilarious. Only this time it has to focus on giving you some legitimately fun gameplay. But in terms of comedy, this being a game, Stick of Two focuses on making fun of various gaming-related topics. It's always fun to watch South Park make fun of everything under the sun. That's the beauty of the show. No one is safe. Everything from Caitlyn Jenner to 9-11 is made fun of. If you're looking for intellectual content, you should be watching a review of a game that doesn't feature this. So Cartman has me fight a couple dudes, and in true RPG spirit, he figures I'm the chosen one and names me his most trusted companion, and has me do everything for him. I swear to Christ, one of these days I'm going to learn how to deal with that. But as the great Aragorn said, it is not this day. So I commit myself to assuring whatever Cartman shakes his stick of truth at is gone from this earth, like the snooze of yesteryear. The actual combat is turn-based, meaning there's going to be a taste of strategy involved, with a large scoop of cakewalk because this shit's just a bit too easy. Every battle feels about the same, even when the game tries its best to throw new enemy types your way. Sure, there will be a couple of times when you find yourself in a tight spot, one wrong move spelling your end, but mostly it's going to be easy. Let's talk about the length of the game. It's been beaten on average about 20 or so hours, maybe more. Some might say that's not enough for an open world RPG such as this. I struggle to find the place on the RPG manual that says an RPG has to make you play it for hours on end for weeks in order to get close to beating it. 20 hours is just fine for this, especially when you factor in the fact that this is a tie-in game, which isn't usually a good sign. Once you start playing it, you'll realize the runtime is more than enough to get the full experience. To be honest, I fear for the success of the next South Park game, because a sequel to this is a bit problematic. Never mind the fact that Sir Deuceback basically tells them all to go straight to hell at the end. Like I said before, the whole appeal of this thing is that it feels like the show. A feeling we've already admired with this. Playing another one means you forfeit that uniqueness to the game's style. It isn't special anymore. At this point though, I'm still just beating around the bush with Stick of Truth, so let's get to the nitty gritty. If you don't watch this show, this game is not for you. Give it a pass. And even if you're interested in giving the world of South Park a shot, you're better off starting with the show. Watch it on Comedy Central. You'll do better than beginning with this. Don't watch it on SouthPark.com, though. The darkness seems to have taken hold of it, and its grip is as tight as ever. If you are a fan of the show, I recommend you buy this game immediately. It's like you won't even have to wait a whole year for the next season. And that's what South Park Sticker 2 feels like, a season rather than a simple episode. That's what I love about it. It's more of what I love, only I get to play it. South Park is the kind of thing that you can either love or hate, because it never lets up on what it does. Whether you like it or not, so haters of the show will probably see this a torture device.
Either way, for the demographic this game aims for, it more than delivers. One common misconception with the show is that it's dumb, irreverent humor made by dumb and juvenile retards. The fact is, South Park is a teacher, and it's dedicated to having real-life messages and force-feeding you those messages. The humor is in the exaggerated and absurd people in context, pointing out the absurdity of the people and things it aimed towards. It may be unintelligent humor, but its balls-to-the-wall insane humor is brought to you by intelligent, capable comedians dedicated to bringing a smile to your face, even if it has to call you everything that exists. You can say it's kind of like a masturbation of retardation, and in that respect, it excels. So that's why I think everyone who is into that sort of thing should find it in this game, as well as the series. In order to successfully be unique, we must each understand our unique features and laugh at them. So that's it for this review. This has been Monday Night Mayhem. I have been your host, Marty Mayhem, and next time I'll be reviewing something that's a long time coming, so stick around for that. If you like this video, give it a like. It's only logical. I'll see you next time as the masturbation of retardation continues. Reese's Pieces, everybody. Well, gee whiz, I